uh, a very important one so let's let's just work on the third one which is uh, for synthesis or theory development and this one is my favorite and not just my favorite is it's all time favorite for everyone chat gpt an amazing tool when we can work with data and we can ask it to create you know some specific output so this is a really powerful tool where we can work with advanced models development of comprehensive theories so all this can be done with the chat gpt uh, where we can you know come up with some idea we can ask chat gpt to write a very specific prompt which we need and then we can reuse these prompt in different ai tools in order to get the, the specific feedback out of it okay so all these tools all these ai tools which you are looking at are basically based on chat gpt even power drill and size space are also using chat gpt's uh, gpt okay so gpt function in order to develop their specific use cases and applications so that's why uh, for me chat gpt is the most amazing tool and we can use it in many 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 different ways so i have created the same output so i asked chat gpt I, I provided all the information and i asked chat gpt to develop a prompt for me which which we can use uh, in power drill in order to collect the specific themes and tables okay so i'm using this prompt here uh, just to showcase you how efficient chat gpt is so it can give you a very detailed prompt let me check further i think my credits are limited now so chat gpt uh, a very amazing tool but now with the due to the limitation of time i would not be able to continue with the chat gpt and how it works for uh, maybe specially for uh, theoretical development and clustering but uh, if you want to learn about the chat gpt i already have one video where we will discuss about the 4c formula for working with chat gpt so once your uh, idea is being created now you have your uh, you know clear thoughts and and all these findings are being exported from uh, size space then you use power drill to define your clusters you work within the clusters again go back to size space work within the cluster and when you have all the findings available just bring it to chat gpt and ask chat gpt to synthesize all the findings for you and try to uh, uncover the facts around the um, the related work in the literature okay but the due to the limitation of the time i might not be able to work with the chat gpt but obviously in next session we may have uh, uh, i can create time maybe in couple of weeks where we can start with chat gpt only and see how we can use chat gpt in order to develop some theory or synthesis from the literature but following the same uh, you know framework or the workflow okay so um, I'm, I'm really sorry for uh, you know for the time uh, but hopefully uh, very soon I'll be working on chat GPT and I'll be helping you to work with the uh, literature synthesis but you can try to learn and use your 4c formula which we have already identified in the previous videos and use them in order to uh, create some specific theoretical developments or uh, synthesis of literature but i will also try to uh, showcase you the finding of chat gpt because for me chat gpt is most powerful uh, tool for now and all the other ai tools are technically uh, using the chat gpt's uh, database or chat gpt's gpt so in that case uh, it's the mother of all these ai development specifically in in, in our research Time. So that's why it's, it's really handy tool for all of us.